Greetings from Guanacaste. It's Costa Rica Matt here today. Just wanted to give a quick update regarding an important filing deadline for anybody who owns a Costa Rica corporation. That's right, by October 31st, you must have submitted your RTBF. That is an annual simple filing here in Costa Rica. What is this RTBF? Well, it stands for Registro de Transparencia y Beneficiarios Finales. Simply put, it is a financial transparency document where you declare who the stockholders are in your corporation, who those final beneficiaries are that are receiving the benefit from your corporation. For many foreigners, this doesn't change every year. There is a legal requirement to file this document outside of October if you have a major change in that ownership. But generally speaking, this is an annual refiling of a document that doesn't show a lot of changes. It gets filed with the Banco Central de Costa Rica, uh, the central bank here in Costa Rica. It's information that then is available to tax authorities and other law enforcement agencies if for example, they want to check out money laundering or those other types of nefarious activities. Who files the RTBF? Well, it has to be anybody who owns either type of corporation, an SAA or an SARLA here in Costa Rica. Those are the two major types of corporations that you would see foreigners using to own property here. One is Sociedad Anónima and the other is Sociedad de Responsabilidad Limitada. They both are essentially the same thing, different versions of LLCs. And this filing must be done by a legal representative of the corporation. Importantly, the filing has to be done online using a firma digital, which is the digital signature here in Costa Rica, whereby a person can plug into their computer that certification of who they are. Most foreigners don't have a firma digital. So most frequently you will see that foreigners who own corporations here will have either their attorney or their accountant file their RTBF for them. So the long story short is that you should reach out to your attorney or your accountant if you own a corporation here in Costa Rica and make sure that they get this filing done this month. You will see attorneys, accountants, etc. charge for this service. Fees can be all over the board, though if you're working with an attorney that you've known for years, who's done a lot of work for you, you can find that the price is pretty reasonable or that they should be uh, even perhaps giving it to you as a special favor. If you like to stay up to date on important information on moving to Costa Rica, do be sure to stay tuned. Soon I will be releasing my V-book, Your Complete Video Guide to Costa Rica Real Estate. Thanks very much.